everybody so this is the hotel i'm staying at in sambava it's on the east coast of madagascar and i'm paying like 15 us dollars a night for a hotel right on the seafront right on the ocean and so i'm going to just take a walk a short walk around town not around town but just uh probably on the uh on the beach let me just show you the beach here first. As the beach goes on forever, you can see it just goes on for several kilometers in each direction. There's, there's not a lot of places though where you could swim because um, even though the beach is nice and sandy when you once you get in the water there's a lot of rocks so there's only a few spots where you can actually swim but I love the waves the sound of the waves and so I'm staying at this hotel like I said it's $15 a night for my room you can get a better room without problem I wouldn't mind getting a room with a balcony like you see right in front there the hotel's pretty good the Wi-Fi is good which is nice you can watch videos in your room last i was i've just been in san in diego suarez for three weeks and i was in an apartment and the apartment was nice but uh it didn't have wi-fi so i had to constantly be buying these packets from orange which are kind of expensive and so i couldn't really watch videos so to get to the beach you just walk down this dirt road There's so many students in this town uh, everywhere you walk, you see students. And today's Saturday. Actually, I think they even have school Saturday. But everywhere you walk, you see kid, uh, students walking on the streets. And school here lasts till 6 p.m. I think every day, except maybe Wednesday. Let me just take a short diversion here. Yeah. And they even have school on Saturday, I think. These kids are spending all day in school, like 10 hours a day. There's not many uh, tourists here, so when you walk around, you get a lot of stairs. That's a little street down there. See, so full of students. It's a little uh, the laundry here. Nice, right, so let me go down back this way. I like it here because the beach which is great but there's not a lot of Diego Suarez I'll put a lot of videos up about Diego later on but that's I've never I don't think I've ever been to a city with so many nice restaurants man and cheap restaurants as well I can eat there for almost nothing And like here's a little spot where people hang out. Got a lot of dogs living here on the beach. This place is super laid back. There's pretty much no nightlife here whatsoever. So if you want to go out at night, you're going to be pretty bored here. One thing I noticed about Madagascar, a lot of people, they wake up at 5 a.m. because if you have friends here, you're going to be getting phone calls and texts at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I don't wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Maybe 9. I 
And like I said, this beach goes on forever. Look around all the way, all the way around the corner there. And so I'm gonna continue up this way. There's like a boardwalk up here where it's just a bit popular uh, around um, 5.30, 6.30 at night. If you come here, there's a couple other towns that are, which are really close. Uh, there's one called, one called, I keep mispronouncing it, but I think it's called Etala. Etala. And I think I may go there Monday for a few days. I think it's maybe an hour on bus. And if the roads are good, it shouldn't be a problem at all. Oh, we got it. Yeah, it looks like it. It's a church here, Adventist church, man. It's like, like Boy Scouts there. They took their drivers, they call Bajaj here, but they, uh, in this city, they always try and rip you off. It's, it's weird because in Diego Suarez, every time I got into Tuk Tuk, it was like one or two thousand. Here, these guys are asking four thousand, five thousand, just to go a short distance. So you have to ask before you even get in. So anyway, I'm just going to leave off this video here, and I'll be putting up more videos as soon as possible.